Hi, and welcome to another edition of This Week in Pioneer Soccer. Yeah, I mean, I think everybody's goal is uh, to win a national championship, and the reality is uh, 205 teams don't do that. And so we set out um, with three trophies in mind. We won two of them. Uh, you know, our, our, our sixth regular season Summit League Championship and, uh, you know, fifth tournament championship, it's amazing. And to be, you know, to go 15-3-2 and two and to be ranked in the top 10 all year with all that pressure, uh, you know, playing at places like at SMU, at Creighton, at Virginia, at Maryland, at Stanford, um, it was just, it was just an awesome year. I mean, you know, we had a guy that scored 28 goals. That hasn't happened in decades in college soccer. Um, you know, we had a lot of growth and development from from from, from younger guys. Uh, you know, some of the older guys that came back, uh, you know, really uh, took ownership of the team and grew as leaders. And you know, so uh, overall, I'm just uh, you know really proud of my group. And uh, you know, it was a little bit uh, you know unfortunate there at the end. Yeah, I think when you go into the NCAA tournament game, it's uh, you know about uh, you know not giving up goals and getting shutouts. And you know, obviously, when you give the team two goals, um, two mi two miscommunication errors. Um, it's just unlucky, you know, that, 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 I've seen those guys make that play, you know, hundreds of times and, uh, you know, that's, that's sport and that's why you play it on the day. But, um, you know, yeah, we gave them two goals, but we also created nine and 10 chances. And then if you're looking at the NCAA tournament and if you watch the round of 16, you know, teams are only getting four and five chances, uh, you know, good opportunities. We had nine or 10 in the game. And so, um, you know, it wasn't just about giving up the two goals. It was also about not finishing our chances. And, uh, you know, I'm just extremely uh, proud of my guys, you know, for their effort all season. And, it, and it's, it's just a shame that it just came down to, you know, a weird bounce of the ball. And, uh, you know, that's sport. And, uh, you know, I think the guys that are coming back, um, you know, this happened to us before. This happened in, uh, you know, the SMU. And uh, that, that group took this. Uh, you know that result as 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 motivation and uh, you know uh, I'm in the weight room today and I'm just walking by and uh, you know to see already 12 of your kids for 12 of the 18 kids returning already at it again already working hard um, they're hungry they're hungry uh, I think they watched the sweet 16 game and they know that we we should have been in there um, we weren't and so you know now we've got 10 months to to uh, you know uh, you know to prove people uh, you know that we did go on yeah, I mean, having a MAC, uh, you know, semifinalist, uh, top 15 players in the country, two of the three past years is, is, is incredible. And, uh, you know, there are obviously individual awards for sure, but, uh, you know, the team, uh, you, you know, if the team wasn't having success, those guys would never be, uh, you know, showcased the way that they are. And uh, it just, uh, you know, I'm obviously super, super happy for Andre. Uh, he's worked, he's matured, uh, he's had adversity. Uh, you know over the past four years and uh, you know he's just kept his head down and continued to work and you know we have one mission of the program every day and that's to you know uh, you know be at your best and that's really hard to do because that's a process or in a goal that, that that's that means that every day you have to evaluate where you're at and did you bring that you know did you bring your best and if you didn't why not and if you did you know what were some you know factors and behaviors that contributed to that and he's really bought into that and uh, you know it doesn't matter if it's uh, you know, 5v2, if it's a relay race, if it's, uh, you know, uh, a FIFA game, uh, Andre's a winner. And that's why he's been successful because uh, he's willing to put himself in good spots, work really hard and have a, you know, resilient mentality towards his goals. I think every senior class wants to come and leave the place in, uh, you know, a better spot than they found it. And they did that. I mean, you know, now uh, for pretty much three of the four years that they were here, they're ranked in the top 10 in the country, almost every game that they played in. Um, you know, that's a lot of pressure. And for these kids to be able to have the on-field success that we had, you know, three of the past four years, you know, uh, getting into the second round of the NCAA tournament is incredible. Uh, you know, the Final Four in, in, in 2016, uh, you know, all the trophies they won, um, you know, throughout their throughout their time here, it's incredible. And you know, that's just that's just on-field success. When we talk about off-field success, we're talking about uh, the past three top GPAs in the country. I mean, for men's soccer, having the top GPA in the country and having that on-field success is incredibly hard to do. Uh, there's a huge sacrifice and commitment uh, every day to those kids, making sure that their you know that their on-field stuff is right, but also that their off-field stuff. Um, and if you couple those two, um, you know, all those accolades on the field and off the field, and then you also combine their community service. Uh, 
Um, you know, our team spends hours and hours in the spring and the winter trying to make the community a better place. And, uh, you know, they find passion pro you know, projects that they can really get behind. Um, but, you know, they're engaged in the community. And so for that senior class, thank you. I mean, you made the place better. Uh, you made me better as a coach. Um, you know, it makes recruiting easier. Uh, the program from where they found it to where it is now uh, is night and day. And, uh, you know, all those guys' efforts is, uh, you, know, what I, you know, why I, uh, you know, applaud them. Uh, you know, bringing back 18 to uh, the, the players that were on the, the, the roster this year is huge for us. And, uh, you know, we've got a lot of uh, growth that's needed, uh, you know, from everybody, um, especially our leaders. Uh, you know, the group that's going to be, uh, you know, pulling the team together in the leadership group. Uh, there's, you know, everybody in that group needs to grow tremendously. And, uh, you know, I've got faith that they will. You know, when you watch Andre and you watch Scott, you know, this past year grow and develop, uh, you know, the year before. You know, to be able to watch Graham Smith grow and Alex Underwood and then the year before that, you know, Sam and Courtney, these are guys that if you were to say, hey, they're, you know, they're going to be the leaders in the fall, people would maybe have questions about it. And so when, when we're looking ahead, leadership development will be, you know, the number one key um, focus for us, um, you know, and uh, teaching those kids how to lead by example. And uh, it's really hard to be consistent. Um, you know, but that's something that you got to strive for every day. And so to have 18 kids back, um, to have a lot of Colorado kids, kids that we're very, very comfortable with, who their character is, who they are as people, you know, what their ambition is, I feel great about the team. I really do. And, um, you know, we need to add, you know, maybe one or two more pieces to it all. But, you know, I really, really like the group next year. And, uh, you know, I'm just excited to get back after this winter. Um, I think this winter we need to teach the kids how to be winners again. Uh, the reason why you keep score is because there is a winner and there is a loser. In this day and generation, there's too much entitlement. Uh, there's not enough resiliency in the kids. And, uh, you know, uh, all of these, um, you know, participation awards that they give out, the reality is the reason why you keep score is because there is a winner and there is a loser. And we will keep score at every exercise uh, and everything that we do in the winter and the spring. Um, because that sort of competition, win or lose or fail, uh, there's learning lessons in there. And so for my guys, they know that I only ask three things every day from them. It's their positioning, their work rate, and their mentality. And it's going to be a tough winner for sure, probably the hardest winner that we've ever had here, um, just because you know we want to go from a, you know, a top 10 program to the number one program in the country. And uh, you know, that's going to take a lot of work.